Okay, so I've checked into um, this new one called Nine Hours. Let's have a little look at what we, what the amenity space looks like and then we'll go and take a look at one of the sleeping pods. We've got this locker storage area. Now, immediately, I can already see that this is significantly more high tech than the previous one because you get given one of these. This is your access card, uh, which they print. And it's got a little QR code which you use to access everything. And the locker is all done by QR code. So I've already put my stuff in here. They give you an amenity bag which has got your uh, towels, it's got some slippers which I've already put on, um, and one or two other bits and pieces in there which I'll check out later. And you've got plenty of storage plate and space for your for your gear. So already getting the feel that this is, you know, the kind of much more in line with the way that I see, you know, these types of things working. It's a lot more kind of high tech. And then just over here, you've got the uh, toilets. It's got a real super modern feel to it as well. It's kind of it's kind of almost a bit futuristic in the style that they've gone for. Everything's nice and clean, of course. And then we've got just a few WCs here high-tech toilets this one's even got a light in it controls on the side set there's a little floor plan you can see all the pods laid out there so now let's go into the sleeping pod area and check it out I've got to be quiet work these things look cool man check it out I'll tell you what I feel like I'm in a spaceship So um, this is literally a pod and nothing else. It's just very glossy and reflective, but there's nothing on the left and right. And when we go in, we've got the light and we've got Nothing, just a light. There's a little ledge here to perch something. It looks like ventilation there, but it's not something I can control. And there's another little ledge here. And you've got your pillow. And your quilt. It's literally just a pod. There's nothing in here at all, so it's a very, very different feel to um, the one I was just at. Um, so this place definitely wins on everything else. But then in the pod, there's just nothing. Which is super interesting. <sighs> so, <sighs> some light. So after having a little nap, I think the sleeping experience here <clears throat> is superior to the other one. Um, the pod, because of its shape <coughs> and the fact that it's all white, it's, it's smaller than the previous one, but it actually feels more spacious. It's symmetrical, it's well designed, it's got a nice curve to it, um, it's very simple. And it actually feels like a better sleeping experience. My initial reactions, my initial thoughts when I come in here was that, um, oh, these pods haven't been, you know, done very well. They've really made them minimal, minimal. But actually, that's its strength because in the pod, you only want to sleep. Whereas the other place almost tried to be like a hotel room in a pod size, whereas this is pure just pod. This is totally more in line with. <clears throat> the direction I would envisage going in or trying to go in at least experimentally. So, super interesting. Um, there's not much else to say about these pods actually, um, because there's nothing else really to look at. The rest of it's just about the general execution. So I really like this place and it's totally a great, great, great alternative to a hostel. Um, I'm still, you know, got food for thought on how do you make this into somewhere where you'd want to sleep on a daily basis to become part of everyday life. Um, so yeah. Cool, another great part. That's it for this sleeping spot base. Um, I'm gonna go and have a little look upstairs at some of the more communal areas. Um, and 
see how it all fits together. Yeah, super cool. So for showers, is that have any showers on the floors? There's um, one floor with all the showers on it. Nice big row of sinks. So there are 10 sinks here in total, plus a little bit of extra kind of getting ready space and hair dries and stuff. It's just got a clean modern feel to it. It does feel kind of like you're in like a, a space kind of station or something. I really like the style of it. I mean, would I do something like this for spaces? Um, it would be the base um, canvas, let's say, and I think we'd need to give it a little bit more personality and character on top of it and build a bit of a brand, a brand around it. Um, because if you're living somewhere, I think you need a little bit more than, than what they've done here. But this is just such a great, great canvas. It's so basic, it's so neutral, it's very Japanese as well, um, which I like a lot. Uh, let's have a look at the showers. Showers are pretty good, you know. They're spacious, and again, you know, products are provided, and you've got plenty of space to, you know, get ready and get changed and perch your, perch your bits and bobs. So yeah, I mean, I think Overall, I really, really like uh, what these guys have done. I think they're a great example on how to do, like how to innovate in capsule living and compact living um, and really, really work on the kind of shared facilities type of concept, which I think is absolutely fantastic over here. So these are the men's sections, men only. Eighth floor reception, that's where I am now. Shower room, that's where I just was. And then we've got two floors of sleeping pods. For the girls, They've got their two floors of sleeping pods, shower and washroom, which is also on the seventh floor, but I gather it's going to be the other half of the floor, and then obviously the reception as well. So this is the reception lobby area where you first come in to register, and again, it's super cool, all the minimal kind of concrete exposed and whatnot. And then you've got this lounge lobby area. Yeah, all in all, it's a pretty cool space, nice lobby. And again, I think for spaces, we'd look at doing stuff like this, but with a lot more character and vibrancy to it. Needless to say, you've got some nice little views. Nine hours, I like you a lot. I think you form a great, great template and a, and a baseline um, for which, you know, we can look at, you know, super compact capsule type living and kind of build upon it to, to make it relevant and, and suitable for, for long term living in the co-living space. Um, and, but, I, you know, and again, I'm talking five to ten years in the future when, you know, the way people live catches up with the way in which I'm thinking about things now. So, yeah, super cool. Love it. Yeah, it's a nice, been a nice little experience. So, uh, I've actually got a dash now. I'm late for a dinner reservation, um, which is going to be absolutely fantastic. Some of the best Kobe beef um, in Tokyo. I'm going to dash over there now before I miss it. I'm going to have a, 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 a Kobe beef steak. Oh my God. Anyways, more about that later. For now, I'm out.